Hey guys, we got a little bit of a different video for you guys today. We're gonna read a book. Actually, Sonny, my friend here, Mr. Sonny Varela, he wrote this book, this children's book called Fair is Fair. We supported him on a Kickstarter campaign to write it and part of the perk that we got. So he brought cookies over to our house and he's gonna read it to our kids. So he's also gonna share it with you guys here. He's cool enough to be able to share his whole book with you. So you can use this video with your kids and let them watch it as well. So this book is your book. This one's at your house. And by the way, your family name is right here. Do you see what it says there? Uh-huh. The Schmoyer family. That's right. Because you guys helped me make this book. Did you know that? No. You did. So that's why I'm happy to get to read this story to you. You guys ready? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So we start with, who's this? Zookeeper. That's right. Who's this? The hair. Hair. And this? Elephant and the giraffe. All right. Yeah. Zookeeper. The zoo. That's the zoo. Zookeeper loved all of her animals. But she was especially fond of hair, giraffe, and elephant. elephant. That's right. She gave hair a handful of food. She gave giraffe a wheelbarrow full. Oh yeah, she fed them herself every day. So she gave hair a handful of food. She gave giraffe a wheelbarrow full. And she gave elephant an entire truckload. Is that a lot? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. They all were healthy and happy because each day they had just enough. One day, they were lounging under the giant shade tree, and each was speaking about how much Zookeeper must love them. Hare bragged, Did you know Zookeeper gives me a handful of feed every day? And it's exactly enough. She must really love me. Do you think Zookeeper loves hair? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Giraffe yeah. laughed. <laughs> well, she must really love me because I get a whole wheelbarrow of food. What do you think of that? Yeah. Oh, this is the same one. This is the same book. Do you see the wheelbarrow food? Uh -huh. Do you see the owl? Uh -huh. yeah. So what do you think, how do you think hair's gonna feel the giraffe gets a whole wheelbarrow? Sad. Ooh, let's see. Elephant trumpeted out an even bigger laugh. Ha ha ha! Well then, said Elephant, I must be the most loved of all because I get an entire truckload. Where's the truck? Do you see the truck? Uh -huh. That's right. Not fair, shouted Hare. Why should you two get so much more than I? This Hair seem happy. Because she's, because yeah. he is smaller. He is small. And he That's can't. why he doesn't eat as much. He doesn't, but he's not happy because he's not getting the same amount. Yeah. Not fair at all, said Giraffe to Hare. Zookeeper must love Elephant more than us. What do you think? Does Zookeeper love Elephant and Giraffe more because she gives them more food? No. No? Let's see. Giraffe, Hare, and Elephant looked at each other in silence. Are they happy? No. no. But I know how to make things fair, said Giraffe. When Zookeeper gives us our food, we'll pile it all together and we'll split it evenly. Then things will be fair. Is that fair? Yeah? What do you think? Um, no, because then they don't have this, because then they're still hungry. Ooh, but they get the same amount. Won't that be fair? Yeah. And that's just what they did. The next day, they piled their food together and they split it evenly. Each animal got the exact same amount. And after eating about a handful of food, Hare was stuffed, but he still had a large mound of food left over. See? After eating a wheelbarrow of food, Giraffe was stuffed, but she still had a large pile of food. But Elephant ate up all his food, and he was still hungry. And he gazed at the piles of food that Hare and Giraffe still had, and he wanted to ask her somebody thought, well, fair is fair. And he walked around his pen, and his stomach was growling. Do you ever get hungry? Yeah, my There's stomach at night, growls. My, at night, my stomach, my stomach growls. Gr growls. Mine too. After several days, Hare became fat from eating so much. His leftover food towered over him and took up his entire living space. Hare thought, "I might get buried alive soon." And Giraffe was also getting fat, and she kept tripping over piles of leftover food. But elephant. Elephant was the most miserable of all. He was very skinny and pale, and he was always hungry and grumpy. And even though everyone said, well, fair is fair, none of them was healthy or happy. Zookeeper saw how the food towered over hair and how giraffe's knees were bruised and how elephant had become so skinny and grumpy. So she called a meeting under the giant shade tree. What's going on? Zookeeper asked. 
giraffe explained how they all wanted to get the same amount of food so that everything would be fair. We don't want anyone to be loved more than anyone else. Is it fair for elephant to be hungry while you two are buried in food? As zookeeper, is that fair? Yeah. Move. Yeah. The three animals thought about this. Hare said, no, that doesn't seem very fair. Elephant and giraffe agreed that it wasn't very fair at all. Zookeeper went on, fairness isn't when everyone gets the exact same. Fairness is when everyone gets what they need. And she gave a great big hug to elephant, giraffe, and hare. The That's the hair. Mm -hmm. And she gave each one just enough food. And they didn't care how much it was or how much the others received because each one knew that they were loved. See that? And that is the end. What do, what do you guys think? Is that a better solution? Yeah. Does an elephant need as much food as a hare? No, that mm -hmm. would be still way yeah. too hungry. Well, do you know sometimes your brothers and sisters they need things that are different from you. Do you ever say it's not fair when your, si when your brother or sister gets something that you don't? Do you ever say it's not fair? Do you ever say that? Mm -hmm. yeah? He does that whenever he has to go inside his, at his bed and we don't, and me and Hallie don't have to. Yeah. Because he got in trouble and he always cries and says, that's not fair, it's not fair, it's not fair, it's not fair, it's not fair. Well, does it mean that your parents don't love you? If you no. go to bed early and you stay up late, does that mean they don't love you? No. No, but each kid is different, right? And different kids need different things. In this case, different types of animals need different amounts of food. And even if Zookeeper loves them all the same, she gives them just what they need. So do you know that your parents give you just what you need? Yeah. That's right, so they love you. They love you all the same. What's the story behind this story? From why did you write yeah, this? Yeah, well Tim, I, I worked in uh, education and kids would always come to me and like some kids, maybe they're, you know, had chemotherapy in Dallas oh. and mom would always have to go take one of the kids to Dallas and they got to go to restaurants and hotels. And I had a kid come to me one day and he heartfelt, he says, it's not fair, right? And then I had other kids like, uh, you know, ESL kids um, or special needs kids and there'd be other kids in the classroom saying, it's not fair, the teacher's spending more time with them. Well, what yeah. about me? Yeah. And when I heard them saying, it's not fair, what I really heard them saying is, I don't feel as loved as, as that kid. Mm. And I wanted to know that's actually not true. Like, you are as loved. Yeah. But different kids have different needs, just mm -hmm. like different adults have different needs. Yeah. So that's, that's what birthed this story. It's, it's the story of three zoo animals. Um, they have very different needs. Yeah. The zookeeper loves them all equally, but yep. it, it looks different for each of them. Yeah. I think it's a great book. If, it's a, if that's a lesson you guys find to be valuable for your kids and for your family, there's a link to it on Amazon in the description below. You can go check it out and pick up your own copy, and that would be awesome. And where can they find out more about you and other books you're going to be writing? Yeah, you can go to, well, Amazon. Once you look at this book, you can check out uh, other books that oh, are there books. coming. Cool. He's got sure. like a whole series of them in mind he's going to be writing. So this yeah. is the first one, and you guys go check it out. And we'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below as parents, how do you address and deal with fairness with totally. your kids? Because... Like I said, we teach our kids that everything, hi, <laughs> thank you, <laughs> isn't always fair. But uh, sometimes I know it takes off other parents. You're like, no, everything has to be fair. Like, yeah, so fair. all the kids feel equally as loved and everything's like, well, there's other ways to make your kids feel loved yeah. besides. Well, you, you want it to be fair. The question is, what is fair? Is yeah. fair when everyone gets the same? Right, yeah. And the premise of the book is fair is when they get what they need. What they need. That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. So check it out, guys. Link down there below. Thanks for hanging out with us. If this is your first time here, we'd love to have you subscribe to our channel because here we usually do videos just telling stories about family because we really believe that... Our family and family in general is supposed to be like a team effort and so we try to explore ways of how does our family work together as a team, what does it mean to be a family team, all that kind of stuff. So subscribe for more family stories <laughs> and we will see you guys then. Thanks, bye. Thanks.